everybody, welcome back to All That Glitters. Today is the 1st of September, which means only one thing, it is autumn. Autumn or fall is one of my favourite times of year because it is so colourful and everything just feels more cosy and also some of the best TV happens during autumn, so I'm happy about that. But I thought today I would do my autumn makeup look. So in this video I'm going to go all out with the look. Um, you will find out during the video that I won't always do certain things but I really wanted to kind of go all out because I'm too excited. So enjoy! Okay so I've already like prepped my skin and stuff with like the most spot gel you could imagine so i'm gonna go in with the gosh exceptional wear foundation in the shade 11 porcelain i love this foundation a lot you guys know that i love it a lot and you can build this foundation up that's the good thing about it um and it just it's just a really good foundation for people who have pale skin and the coverage on it, as I mentioned, is really, really good. I'm now going to buff that in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, and this is such a soft brush, honestly. If you can get your hands on this or these brushes by Real Techniques, do it. Because they are so, so good. Look how much of a difference that is already. Um, now that we've got the spots covered up a bit, everything just looks so much smoother and nicer. So... I'm now going to move on to powder and I'm going to be using the uh, Revolution Lace Powder. I absolutely love this stuff. I need to just put it in the little cap. And I'm just going to be using a little um, beauty blender for this just so I can put it under my eyes. I love, love the finish of this stuff. This is only like my second or third time using it. And I'm already obsessed. So I'm just putting that in areas where I get quite oily. Or where my foundation doesn't tend to stay. Um, which is, you know, under the eyes and all the rest of it. So just kind of dotting that everywhere. Okay. And now I'm taking a Revolution um, powder brush. And I'm just going to be sweeping that all away. Or blending it in. And this will just give it a beautiful finish. Also, it will brighten up my eyes a bit, which is really good. And let's do that all here. Next, I'm going to highlight. And I'm taking the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. And I'm also taking a um, Real Techniques brush again. I absolutely love this highlighter. Like, it gives such a pretty glow. Um, and I love building this up as well. This is one of my favourite um, highlighters from Makeup Revolution. So pretty. And I'm just putting on my nose. Cupid's bow. And I'm just going to put it on the side here as well. You may not be able to see it too much in this lighting. Um, but it is really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. And I got a lot of compliments on this. So... It's just a gorgeous highlighter all year round. Next, for blush, I'm using the Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blush from I Heart Makeup. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty. It has a nice shimmer to it as well. <clears throat> Being um, a triple baked blush means that there's obviously a variety of different shades in one. Um, and this just works wonders. I honestly, it looks so pretty. Um... You could also use it as a joint highlighter, so it gives a nice glow as well. Um, it is honestly really pretty. And this brand does a lot of Too Faced dupes. So if you can't necessarily afford Too Faced, this brand does pretty similar products for quite a decent price. Okay, adding in some um, autumnal colours now. I'm taking the Bourjois um, Paris bron Chocolate Bronzer in the shade 52. And I'm just going to dab that onto the brush. I do really weird faces when I do this. But I'm just going to go into the... And then go on the jawbone. I'm 
not going to go too, well, I say that. I'm not going to go really, really crazy. Um, there will be some days where I will um, do either a lot of contouring or blush. Not always both. So, there's that. Okay, now what are we going to move on to? I think I'm going to move on to eyebrows next. So for eyebrows, I'm taking this massive eyeshadow palette from Gloss and I'm going to be using the two uh, brownie kind of ashy shades which are here and I'm going to just brush my eyebrows on. I don't need to do too much to my eyebrows because I feel like they're okay. Um, I feel like their shape's okay. It's just they need a little bit of help every now and again so I'm just gonna draw them on as my hair gets in the way that's great thank you very much okay so I'm just kind of filling them in I'm not going too crazy I quite like a soft natural brow they look a little bit terrifying at the minute it's fine but it'll all look okay when eyeshadow is put on so I am going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. This palette is awesome. This palette basically screams autumn. Um, it is so pretty. I got this for my birthday last year and I couldn't be happy, honestly. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to be taking the shade or shades Chaser and Sourced. So the first, this one and this one, first couple shades on a flat packing brush from Makeup Revolution and I'm just going like this so that you guys can see so that I can see because I haven't got very good eyes and that's on the same on the other eye just give it a nice matte kind of first layer so to speak um, and this palette is actually really good for people with blue eyes or even green eyes I think because it brings them out a lot like the shades bring them out it's so gorgeous okay I'm next gonna take low blow and just put that on the outer edge of the eye kind of just here just to add a little bit of depth and again I'll blend that out in just a moment and I'm also gonna take sourced again just to put in the same area and I'm just going to blend that out again. Also, these are Makeup Revolution brushes again. Um, to add some shimmer now, I'm going to take Scorched, which is a beautiful, beautiful shimmer shade. And I'm just going to tap that on to the eye. Because it is too stunning for this planet. Honestly, it is so gorgeous. So, just tapping it on and building it up. Because if I swipe with, like, glitter shadows, they don't tend to, like, give the full effect. Whereas if you tap them on, they have a better effect, if that makes sense. I'm also going to take a dirty talk and just also apply that in a similar area. On the eye just to build up the shimmer a bit on both eyes and I'm going to blend out the edges once again like so okay so now that is done I'm going to apply mascara and the mascara I'm going to use is the Bourjois Volume Glamour Ultra Care Mascara in black. I think a brown mascara would look really nice with this look as well. Um, but I'm just using this black one today. Oh, let me put the mirror up. And I'm just going to do like one or two coats of mascara. Nothing too crazy. Again, this will vary on day to day, what I want, what I like kind of thing. Um, so some days it may be a bit more dramatic, some days not so much. Okay, now moving on to my favourite part, the lipstick. 
There are so many different autumnal lipsticks out there and I own quite a few, but I'm going in with my favorite one, like my favorite. And that lipstick is by MAC. And it is their shade D for Danger. It is such a beautiful shade, honestly. I'm so glad I got this. It is a beautiful kind of plum colour. I wore this in my back to school haul video and it is it is stunning. So I'm going to apply this. Look, look at that. Look at that. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And press the notifications bell to be notified when I make a new video. Let me know in the comments what your favourite thing about autumn is. Mine is definitely the colours and the fact that the nights draw in a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Bye!